Welcome to this video on the Java API. My name's Andy Wicks, and in this brief program, I'm going to show you around all those pesky imports that we had to put at the top of the Java programs. Let's go through the thing logically. What is the API? Well, it's a collection of classes and interfaces that have been written for you to use, and they cover a whole range of topics things that make your life as a Java programmer a lot easier. There are 3,793 of these, an awful lot, and they cover a lot more than will be shown in my Java series. I will not be going through all 3,793 of them. So where do you find out about the others? Where can you find more? Well, you go to docs.oracle.com forward slash java se forward slash six docs api and if you do that you'll go to this web page and here you'll see all the apis that are available all the packages and there are a lot of them so if you're looking for something fairly specialist you can browse through until you find the sort of things you need. And there are an awful lot of things here that are really useful. Cryptography, SQL, 3D graphics, and so on. Far more than we're going to see. So let's move on. You can browse for something special if you're looking to find out how to use XML and so on. All of that is there as well as the packages that we've used, there are classes which will help with XML, graphics, multimedia, and all sorts of exciting things. Well, how do you go about importing these packages? Well, if you're using an IDE such as NetBeans or Eclipse, they'll import them for you. In NetBeans, just use either Source, Fix Imports, or Control shift and i and that will sort out all your imports for you. Alternatively, you can add them manually by using import and then the package name. So for example, you might import java.util.calendar if you're working with dates. But what does that star mean? You've seen star a lot. For example, import java.awt.star. It means that you import everything in this folder, but you don't import anything in the folders below. So if this particular folder includes, say, three or four classes, then those three or four classes are now available in your Java program. If java.awt includes subfolders, what's in those subfolders will not be available to you you have to specify those folders again. The good news is that the package java.lang is imported automatically and java.lang is the package that imports all the things like the if statement, the loops and so on and they're imported automatically. You don't have to add those. 